Welcome to the Emmanuel's Faith Center broadcast with Pastor Wayne Johnson. The blessing of the Lord maketh rich, and the Bible said, addeth no what? Sorrow. It didn't say blessings with an I-N-G-S on it. It said the blessing. So when I understand what the blessing is, it'll cause supernatural increase in wealth to come into my hands, glory to God. Our church is located at 9501 Highway 97, Walnut Hill, Florida. We invite you to stay tuned Hallelujah. for the Word of God. Hallelujah, it's coming through the wealth supply that God has for in His kingdom. <laughs> Look at it, Moda. He ain't nothing but a so and so and so and so. He ain't no good. But when I was over there in the bunch with them, I was all right. But soon as I got promoted, <laughs> soon as they told me I was the supervisor. <laughs> now they said, <laughs> <laughs> but when I was down there, we were all at, we was all at the same level. It was, it's, it was good. But now when I got promoted, now I ain't no good. I'm no good. I'm the same guy that was talking to you. I'm the same guy that, that you borrowed a, a dollar, two dollars from to get lunch. I'm the same guy that said, go over there and uh, bring me a drink when you come. I'm the same guy. I ain't changed, but I just, they, they saw something to me and they said, they called me to be the supervisor. They promoted me. Now, once I got promoted, I'm the worst thing since last bread. Because why? Resistance and division has come and, and, and you don't want to hearken to what, my words and my leadership. Because what I say now can't, what, you, won't, you, won't, you don't recognize me as an authority figure in your life. You look at me and my words have no what power in your life because you say that don't apply to me. My other supervisor didn't have me to do that. The other supervisor is gone. You got a new sheriff in town. <laughs> Now, so offenses come. Because first thing they said, well, he's picking on me. No, no, I'm not doing that. I'm just doing my job. But see, hallelujah. And so that's what the devil going to do. He's going to pick on you. Because why? As soon as he get through strangling all that word out of you, he's going to drop you. When that, when that last word squeezes out of you, he's going to drop you like a hot potato. Because now you have no more defense against him. See, when you're going through trouble and the Holy Ghost is looking, he got to come and find some word inside of you. Oh, you don't hear me. He got to get under That's why he ain't destroyed you. See, because the word of God is here today and, and you believe it. Hallelujah. It got, you got some reserve. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so, and he's trying to choke that word out of you. You ever notice when you, when you get around the, uh, the anointing and you truly get around it? <laughs> Child, you going down there with that crazy Wayne Johnson. <laughs> Before then, you ain't heard nothing about them. You could miss a whole month out of church. And they ain't saying, now, child, how you doing? Glory to God. How you doing over here? How you doing over here? But as soon as you get around that anointing, here they come. Glory to God. It's going to come out of the mouth of people that are around you. Close to you. Because why? It's a word that's going to be sown in your heart. The quickening word. Hallelujah to Jesus. That has the power to produce something in your life. And he has to use. Oh, Robo, I felt that one too, brother. Glory be to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Make me run over here. Hallelujah. Because why? It has to what? It has to. If it wasn't unto it, why is the persecution coming? Why are your critics coming? Glory to God. You've been at home for six months. Ain't went to nobody, church. Hallelujah. And now you. You coming up here and everybody want to give you their opinion glory be to God hey, he's coming after the word he's coming after you glory be to God you got to know when he come he ain't coming with two horns sticking out in a tail and a pitchfork he's coming through somebody you know respect glory be to God do you understand me today glory to God he ain't coming with no pitchfork he's not coming with a pitchfork He's coming through somebody you trust and understand, glory to God. But see, when the word of God is sown, hallelujah, these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word, receive it. I can tell you something all day, long as you don't receive And And bring forth fruit, some 30, some 60, and some 100. Lord, have mercy to Jesus. Jesus Christ. We 
we were doing the interview and the pastor said, well, preachers done promised a lot of folks some things and they ain't got, they, they don't have those things and therefore now they mad and leave the church. No. I promise you what the word promises you. I promise you life and I promise you what? More abundantly. See, it's because you didn't do what the word said and the word that you had in you, he came at it until he choked you, until it all left you. And once the word left, now it's nothing in there, in your spirit. It's because you, when you're going through stuff, you know how you, you, know how you fast. When, you start, when we start to fast, what, what happened? First day, that mind like he was going to blow up with it. Oh, Lord. Man, look here. <laughs> Man, that stomach was saying, feed me, feed me, feed me. It was like it was like landing. Feed me now. I want it now. I'm not waiting till no six o'clock. I'm not waiting till uh, the, uh, uh, three days. I, I want it now. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. Hallelujah. It, it starts having a temper tantrum. It starts like it starts. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. But what did you say? You held your ground. You said, no, I ain't giving it to you. I'm not, I'm not giving it to you. And all of a sudden, the body, when you gave it that command and you didn't hearken and yield to what it was trying to get you to do, glory to God. See, because I handle koremasi. When I stood my ground and I told the body what it would not get, it had to obey me. The first day was the worst day. The second day, hallelujah, it, it talked, but it didn't talk quite as much. But you ever notice the third day the mind got quiet? It didn't even hardly bother you none at all, glory to God. Because why? The two days were the worst two, the first one and the second. And then when you went the third day, like it's got easy, glory be to God. Because the mind knew that you wasn't going to break your word, that you were going to stay with what you said, and it could not stop you, glory be to God. If the flesh could not stop you, hallelujah, how much more can the devil not stop you? Glory be to God. It is the word that quickens the flesh, profiteth nothing. Glory be to God. The word that I speak unto you, Jesus said, they are what? Spirit and they are life. Glory to God. Once you understand that, hallelujah, you come into the fullness of the kingdom. Hallelujah. I don't went over my time. Ooh, Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Turn to, uh, turn one, one more scripture. Turn to, uh, I'm going to show you this, Proverbs chapter 8. Then we're out of here. Man, that boy time just flew. I got up at 12. Mm. Man. I like the interviews. So. Man, we had some good interviews, didn't we? Man, they were great. Listen to what we say. I'm going to read down through here quickly, and I'll show you this. I got a lot of these things highlighted. Everybody had it? Do it not wisdom, cries, and understanding. Put it forth her voice. She standeth in the top of the high places by the way in the places of the paths. She crieth at the gate, at the entrance of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to what? The sons of men, to the son of man. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of what? An understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things. The opening of my lips shall be what? Right things. The opening of my lips For my mouth shall speak what? Truth. And wickedness is what? An abomination to my lips. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness, and there is nothing forward of what in them. They are all plain to him that what understandeth, and right to them that what findeth knowledge. Receive my instructions, and not silver, and knowledge rather than what chosen gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not what to be compared to it. Glory to God. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and findeth out knowledge with what witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to what? Hate evil, pride, and arrogance in the evil way, and the what? A forward mouth do I what? Hate. Counsel is mine, and sound wisdom, and I am understanding, and I what? I have strength. 
Buy me kings reign and prince decree justice. Buy me princes, rules, and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that what? Love me. I love them that what? Love me. Glory to God. And those that seek me early shall what? Find me. Riches and honor are what? With me. Yea, the durable riches and what? Righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my reverence than, than chosen silver. I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the path of judgment, that I may cause those that what, love me to inherit substance, and I will what, fill their what, treasuries. Man, that's powerful, right? That's when I read that one. Hallelujah. I will cause those that what, love me to inherit substance, and I will what, fill their treasuries. Lord, have mercy to Jesus. And this, 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 listen to this one, verse 20, 22. The Lord possessed me, that's, that's, possessed, that's right. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. And what is he talking about? He's talking about creation. Amen, praise God. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, even the earth was. Or even the earth was. So he was at the creation. When there was no depths, I was brought forth. When there was no fountains, abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, be, be, before the hills was, I was brought forth. While as yet I had no, while as yet he had not what made the earth, nor fields, nor the high parts of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the deep, and when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, and when he gave the sea, when he gave the sea his decree that the water should not compass his commandments, and when he appointed the fountains of the earth, then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the ha rejoicing in the habitable parts. Of his earth, and my delight were in, but my delight were with the sons of what men. My delight is with what the sons of men. Wisdom is looking for us, or the Holy Ghost is what looking for us. Glory be to God. Now, therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that what keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise, and refuse it what not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watches daily at my gates, and wait at the post of my door. For whosoever findeth me, what? Findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongfully, hallelujah, his own soul, and all, that, and, and all they that what hate me, love what death. Man, I tell you, man, God, that, 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 that's awesome, man. That's powerful. Glory be to God. And so, 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 God's word is so rich and powerful. Hallelujah, glory to God. Do you feel me today? Hallelujah. And so, I, I just, I just want to say, man, let me tell you something. Woo, Jesus, glory be to God. Hallelujah. The abundance of life, the gift of righteousness, and what? The gift of the what? Holy Ghost. He said he was there. The wisdom was there. The spirit of wisdom was there when God created the fountains and the, and the sea and the clouds and put everything. And, and, and he said, he, he come to dwell among the sons of men. And, and the book of James, he said, the Bible said, he that lacked wisdom, let him ask of the Lord liberally, like what give it to all men and of what upbraid is not. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel me this morning? I come, how can I come to the Jesus said he didn't come to condemn nobody. So how can I? I can't condemn you. I don't condemn nobody. You know, I, the, that guy that attacked me last week at work because I told him I was going to buy those uh, 50 lottery tickets. And you know what? This, 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 this came to me. This parable, this is what I told him. I said, man, don't let Satan destroy our relationship because he's trying to not let me speak into your life because what I'm speaking has power. And, 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 and this is what I told him. I said, you remember the parable when Jesus... All of the scribes and the religious leader caught the woman in adultery. And they brought her to Jesus. They had all their stones because the law said stoner, right? And then they brought to Jesus and Jesus writing in the sand. 
And they said, well, we caught this woman in adultery, but they didn't bring the guy. They just brought her. All right, so here we go. And so now he's writing in the dirt. And then this is what he said. Ye that are without sin cast the first stone. And so when he said that, he never looked up. He just kept writing in the sand. And all, and all he heard was stone falling. Boom, 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 boom. And then when the stone fell, they went away. And he kept writing in the sand. Then finally he, he stood up and he looked at the woman. He asked her, he said, where are thy accusers? He said, Lord, I don't know. They, they, they all gone. And what did Jesus say? He said, neither do I accuse you of anything. And the only thing he told her, he said, go and sin no more. And that's what I told him. Know what I told him? I said, God, out of every time that I missed it, everything that I ever done wrong and said wrong, I said, God, never accuse me. He never come beat me upside the head with it. He always opened, come to, come, even though when I miss it, his arms are always open toward me. And when I confess and, and restore my relation, and con, you know, I'm restored back to where I was. He don't beat me down. He don't go all over at more and tell everybody what I did. He don't. So I know that he loves me. And so therefore, if he loves me, I got enough confidence to know that it's the love of God that shed abroad in my heart by the Holy Ghost. And what people say, it don't matter. Long as I know I'm doing what God called me to do. Long as I know that my relationship with God is all right, hallelujah. I'm going to stand in that word, hallelujah. I'm going to stand right here, hallelujah. Because God will never leave me nor forsake me. He's with me always. He don't condemn me. Man, is, the enemy uses man to condemn you, to talk about you, glory be to God. That's why when you're going through trouble, hold your mouth. Don't tell people about what you're going through. Because the friend that you think is your friend, they're friends to somebody else. That's friend to somebody else. Because when you tell them your business, your, that's your best friend that you think is your best friend. Now they tell their best friend, which is nine, and then they tell their best friend, don't you tell nobody about this, what I just told you, because my best friend told me that. Then they tell their best friend, which is your best friend, which is his best friend. And then all of a sudden, here you go again. It just keep running. And then now your whole business is all in the street. And you wonder what happened. Do you feel me? Amen. And that's why, you know, some people get mad in the church because they tell their pastor something. Then all of a sudden, the whole congregation know about it. They say, well, they tell them that in private. Don't tell nobody. But he can't hold water. She can't hold water. So, trust God. And when you live your life, live it. And know that God is with you. Don't be moved by what people say. If you make a decision and this is the way you want to go, walk in it. God's with you. He's with me. He's with all of us. Glory be to God. And so don't be moved by what people say. Because if you do, your life will never go to any place because every time the enemy use criticism against you, you're going to what? Be frozen in your tray. Stand tall. Live your life the way you want to live it. That's your life. God give every one of us a life and live it the way you want to live it. Glory be to God. Do you feel me today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Live your life the way you want to live it. And if nobody don't like it, so be it. They don't like it. Hallelujah. Live your life. Be happy. Live your life to the full. Glory be to God. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I need to do some things in my life. Hallelujah. I'm 57 years old in June. I'll be 58. Glory be to God. And how much do we live our life on the opinion of men that not going to do hardly duly squat for us? And if you want to live your life, be happy. Because you don't have but one go around. Do you feel me? Do you understand me? We went out Friday night when it was cold. I told, told, told old guy right there. That's just a figure of speech. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I told, I told that young girl. I told that young woman. I told my wife. Sit down. Sit down. My words. She's she getting, getting offended. 
getting offended already. I told her, I said, let's go. Let's go. We're going to eat a steak tonight. Because after that fast, I wanted me a steak. I said, man, I'm going to eat me a steak. I'm going out. We're supposed to be going to Texas Longhorn, but, you know, they had the, the parade. And you can't, you know, go down the airport, man. So we went to, where we went to? The, the restaurant. Went to Logan. We ordered a steak, big old T-bone, 24 ounce. We cut it down. I gave her a part, half, and I took the rest. Got me a baked sweet potato. She got a big potato and got a salad. Glory be to God. But let me tell you something. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. You are the captain of your ship. Do not let me try to dictate to you how to run your life. If I run my own life, I got my hands full. Glory be to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Live your life and enjoy your life. Hallelujah. Because we don't get but one go around. Hallelujah to Jesus. Do you feel me today? Do you understand? Live your life to the fullest. Enjoy yourself. Have a good time. Be with, enjoy people. Enjoy friends. Enjoy a good life. Do not live your life by what people say about you. Because, hallelujah, they're going to talk about you all day long. They talking about me now. Lady told me the other day, I probably already told you, well, I know you building that church over there. A lot of them don't like it, but I like it. <laughs> now, she just should have told me, she said, I see you over there building the church over there that you're breaking ground. I, I, I'm going to like it. She didn't have to tell me the other part. She didn't. Yeah, she probably don't like it either. And so she told me about what all her other group of people were saying. But you know what? See, once I started coming from landing position and that little baby's position, I started to grow up in this thing. Because that's why I read you that one that Jesus, that, that he told Peter, he said, persecution going to come. I don't care what you do. You can do everything right. Somebody's going to still talk about you and criticize you and say all manner of evil against you. But let me tell you something. Don't release the word. If you hold on and keep confessing the word of God, let me tell you something. You're going to be all right. Because if you're going wrong, if I'm going wrong, if we all going wrong, and we all were going wrong, we all, we all had a one-way ticket to hell, didn't we? And God saw us in our sins and saw us in, out of the hog pen because we all, where, where we all come from? We all come out of the hog pen. So we can't talk about nobody. We can't open our mouth against nobody. Because if the book be open, there's some stuff in our lives that we don't even want nobody to know about. Glory to God. Do you hear me? Hallelujah. The Jesus. There's some stuff in our closet that we want to keep closed, shut up. And if they try to get out, we're going to put five locks on them. Your wrist broke. Your wrist broke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought her wrist was broke. <laughs> I thought she broke her wrist. I was finna call 911. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm, I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm through. <laughs> They be getting on us on, on that time on the pass. But let, let me say that right here. They, 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 everybody folding up their Bible. They said, well, pal, yeah, 10 minutes ago, they fold it up, fold it up, fold it up. But that's all right. They be praise the Lord. But hallelujah. But we get a little excited. We get happy about this word, glory to God. We get happy about preaching, glory to God. But I just wanted to encourage you. See, because, see, we can't come to church and laugh and support each other, hallelujah. And if you're going through trouble, live your life the way you want to live it. Do what Sister Rhonda want to do to make Sister Rhonda happy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Do what you want to do to be happy. I just need to stay friends with you. I just need to stay friends with you, brother. Glory to God. I just need to stay friends with you. Hallelujah. I need to stay friends with you, Sister Mary. I need to stay standing on Morobo Court. I need to stay friends with you, Sister Teresa. Glory to God. I need to stay friends with you, Sister Teresa. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I need to stay friends with you. Glory to God. Do you feel me this morning? I just need to stay friends with you. Glory to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory to God. Do you feel me? Hallelujah. Because in doing so, 
we're going to all make it to the what? Heavenly home, glory to God. Hallelujah, do you feel me today? Glory to God. Weeping may endure for a moment, but what joy cometh in the morning. Oh, yes, and the morning is another day, it's another time, it's another season. You may be weeping now, but let me tell you, joy will come if you stay with God. Regardless of where you are today, what you're going through, stay with God. It's not so bad, hallelujah. Oh, yeah, the devil may want to let you think it's bad, hallelujah. He done stabbed you with all these eyes, picks, hallelujah, glory to God. He used to do that stuff to me too, glory to God. But when I understood who I was in Christ, I stopped leaning to the arm of flesh to get, con- to get, get comfort. I started what? going to the spirit of wisdom, the counsel and might. God, hallelujah, the Holy Ghost is a counselor. He's an advocate. He's a standby. He's an intercessor. You can lean on him. And that song you sang, what, lean on, what'd you say, lean on Jesus? Lean on the Holy Ghost. Lean on him in your trouble time. Go out and eat you a steak tonight or do something special for yourself. Get you a baked sweet potato. Glory be to God. And some glad high jungle. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. If you can't do that, go up to the uh, catfish junction, whatever the catfish are. They got some good food. Go up there and sit down and say, I'm eating me some good food today. Hallelujah to Jesus. I don't care what they say. I'm going to eat me a good salad and, and, and fish or steak or whatever. Hallelujah. I'm going to enjoy the day because this is the day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be happy. I'm not going to live my life in misery for nobody. I'm going to be happy. Be happy. Enjoy your life. Amen. Praise God. I do. Do you feel me? Go eat you a good (laughs) sleep. Hallelujah to Jesus. Do you understand? Because when you get through it, you're going to be happy. But pastor was right. Man, I feel good. I feel good. I I feel so good. I'm so so full. I'm so sleepy right now. I'm I'm going home. I'm going home, go sleep. Man, I'm so full, I enjoyed myself. I'm so happy, I'm just enjoying myself. And then, it don't take but a few dollars to get happy. About $10, you can go out there, eat, and have a good time. Do it this weekend and do it next week and see how you feel. You're going to feel better. All your critics, all the complainers, everybody talking about you, forget it. Lord have mercy. Do you feel me? And my, my son-in-law, know what he said? He said, well, somebody was saying something. This has been the Emmanuel's Faith Center broadcast with Pastor Wayne Johnson. If this broadcast was a blessing to you, we would like for you to partner with us. You can partner with us with the monthly seed of $25. We are located at 9501 Highway 97, Walnut Hill, Florida. For this and other teachings by Pastor Johnson, please visit our website at www.efcenter.org. Tune in next week for another exciting time in the Word of God. And may God continue to richly bless your lives is our prayer.